The second step to ensuring a successful community or volunteer meeting is getting off to a great start. The first five to 10 minutes of your meeting really set the tone for the rest of the meeting, especially if you are dealing with individuals who are used to business and professional settings. I don't know if you've ever been in a meeting that as soon as it starts, you think, oh my goodness, this is going to be a long meeting. You want to avoid that because if you set that precedent in the beginning, in the rest of the meeting, it's very hard to regain control. One of the best ways you can do that is have a concise introduction and practice your introduction. Make sure that it's thorough, but not too long. During your introduction, state the purpose of the meeting. Define the parameters of the meeting. For example, if you're not there to discuss the platforms and change them, put that out front. Give us what the purpose of the meeting is for and ensure that everyone has consensus on that. The next thing you'll do to set the tone of the meeting is set the agenda. The agenda is very important to include times in the agenda. For example, our meeting started at 7 p.m. We should be ready to start reading our platform at 7.10. Each person will have a designated amount of time to speak we should finish our elections by 8 o'clock and be adjourning by 8.15. Setting these expectations for everybody in the room allows you for success later in the meeting.